Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is another episode of my Makeup and Manny series for the holidays and seasons and special events. And of course this one is going to be for Valentine's Day coming up very soon. I'm going to go ahead and split up my Valentine's Day Makeup and Manny into two videos. One for the makeup and one for the Manny like I did for Christmas because I tend to ramble on quite a bit and take forever so we don't want the video to be a gazillion minutes long. So this is going to be the makeup episode. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my primer. This is the Power Up Primer from Geek Chic Cosmetics. It is my absolute favorite primer at the moment. So awesome. And then I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Last year for Valentine's Day, I did something really soft and feminine on my blog. Um, I didn't have my YouTube channel then, but I did do a blog post. I'll put the link down below if you want to see it. So this year I decided to do something a little more fun and edgy, you know, not so soft and sweet. So hence the big change. And plus, I really, really wanted to use my new ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I think this one's called, let's see, Slave to Pink. Isn't the color just, hang on, you got to see. The color is phenomenal. I mean, isn't that just crazy gorgeous. I love it. So that's going to be my main color focus in this look. And I find that it's best just to apply these shadows with your fingertips. Um, it just applies a little more opaquely and it's easier to work with. So I'm going to apply this color all over my lid. All right, now for the inner corner of my eye, because my fingers are kind of large, I like to use a um, more detailed brush to apply on the inner corner. And I'm using the Crown Brush C468 Smoky Eyeliner Brush and pick up that pink and then just press it on. Alright, now I'm going to be using the Think Pink palette from Coastal Scents and a, what is this, Crown Brush C459 and I'm going to go into that bottom left shade right here which is this really pretty bright white silver, uh, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called white silver if you're buying just um, the pots by themselves. I'm going to apply that to the brow bone. Now this is a pretty, pretty shimmery highlight, but I mean I'm kind of going all out with this crazy look, so why not? Alright, next I'm taking a... What is this? This is a brush that has no name on it. I don't even know what this is. Look, it has no name. I think this is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's either BH Cosmetics or it's a crown brush and I'm going to try to find out and you'll see it above or below wherever somewhere in this video what it is. And I'm going to go into the shade I'm going to go into the shade Mauve Frost right here in the second row. And that I'm going to apply right below where we ap applied the brow highlight and a little bit curving up and in to the eye. Alright, now taking a crown brush C460. I'm going to go into the shade, what shade is this, baby pink right here. That I'm going to apply on the inner part of the eye. Rounding it in and kind of, kind of on the inner third but curving it in and swiping it outward just a little bit to meet up with that light pink shade that we applied there. Now taking a BH Cosmetics, I think this is just a blending brush from the Rose Gold set. I'm, whoop, excess. I'm going to go into the shade, let's see which one is this one, Rosy Pink. Rosy Pink right here. Get a little bit on the brush. And this I'm going to apply above the crease and curving it in and then very lightly and softly connecting it up to the outer corner of the eye and pulling it out just a bit. So basically filling in that empty space that we still had there. Now I'm going to go into the next sort of darkish more matte pink shade. This one is magenta pink right here. Same brush. 
and I'm going to pull that a little bit closer to the crease this time and not blend up so far. And then once more into the darkish pink here, what's this one called? Cinnabar Rose. Yep, right here. Same brush. And keep that really, really close to the crease. This is going to blend in really nicely with the color pop shadow, but not be as shimmery, have more satin or matte look. All right, now we'll be using a Coastal Sense BRC N09 sort of pointed um, blender and go into that dark. It's like a dark matte black with some pink shimmer in it, but the pink shimmer is really subtle. It's called Gunmetal. Right, y'all. That I'm going to do a sort of cut crease with. Pulling it in, not quite all the way. And then pulling it out to the direction of my eyebrow. And then darken it up just a little bit more closer to the crease. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, so I'll be right back. All right, so I curled my lashes and I put on my first um, initial coat of waterproof mascara. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeliner before I put on my um, second coat of mascara. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I'm using a liquid um, felt tip eyeliner because I want a pretty crisp, clean line. And I'm just going to do a long wing. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my second coat of mascara. All right, now for the bottom lashes, because I always do my lid first, even the mascara, and I like to do my bottom lashes last. I'm going back into the ColourPop shadow with the same brush that I used to apply on the inner corner. And I'm going to just sweep it across the bottom and then lightly kind of out towards the wing. Then I'm going to use a um, a dome brush from Coastal Scents and go into that, what shade is this called again? Oh, magenta pink. The magenta pink shade right here. And just very lightly kind of sweep that underneath it just to fade out the edge a teensy bit. Now for the black liner on the bottom, I'm using this super cute, look how cute this is. This is from Lollipops Paris. Uh, let's see, what's it called? What's it called? I don't know. I just wanted to use it because it was cute. Close your eyes, go dancing. Is that the name of it? It's a number 701 Goodbye Moon. Just a nice black liner. Um, a twist up liner, which I really love the formula of this. It's, it's easy to blend. Oh, and I'm applying it on my waterline, if you couldn't tell. Easy to blend, but tacky enough where it really doesn't budge. And I'm also going to be smudging this onto the roots of my lashes. And then I'm going to connect it up to the wing by kind of drawing another line, another wing line from the bottom lashes and up and thickening up the outside of that wing. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply waterproof mascara to both the edges, the tips of my top lashes to really lengthen them and set the mascara so it's not going to go anywhere as well as my bottom lashes. Alright, now that the eyes are pretty much done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my contour, a little bit of bronzing. I'm using the NYX Powder Blush in Taupe and a Made You Look Angled um, I don't know if this is exactly, if they call this a contour brush, you'll see the, the name of it somewhere on the screen right now. 
and I'm just going to do some really light contouring. And then I like to use the Crown Brush C454 for contouring my nose a little bit. I find it just, it fits, it fits my nose well. And for the rest of the face, for the cheeks, for the blush, I should say, I'm using the, what is all over this? I need to clean this baby. I don't, I don't know what's on this. It's the Coastal Scents uh, Blush 2 palette. And I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics. I think this is just the powder brush from the Rose Gold set. And what shade do I want to use? Hmm. I think I'm going to start off with this. Sort of medium rose color, right? Y'all, this one right here. See what that looks like. And I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I think I'm going to go into this sort of purple pink shade right here. Sort of magenta or fuchsia. We'll say fuchsia. And I'm just going to really lightly brush it up higher. And then I'm going to tone down the edges with my powder brush again so it's not in your face pink. Alright, now for the lips, I probably really shouldn't be doing this because I mean, this look really pops as it is, so, but um, you know, what the heck, why not? I'm going to go ahead and use the ColourPop Lippy Stick. It's in the shade Wifey, which is why I really, really want to use it, because I think my husband would just get a kick out of it. So, bear with me. We're going to, you know, do some trial and error stuff. So, if you are a brave, brave soul, you could definitely go out in this look. I don't know, I kind of feel like it's a little maybe too much statement lip, statement eye. So what I'm going to do, and I want I still want to use this color because I love the color. I'm going to blot it down and work it in my lips a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to take NYX's Butter Lip Balm in the shade Parfait BLB01 is what it looks like. And I'm going to apply that over it. So that's a little trick that I like to use when I have a lip color that I really love, but it's a little bit too much for me or for the look that I'm going for. So I like to just work it down a little bit, blot it off, and then apply a little lip balm so it evens it out just a little bit. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this um, Makeup and Manny makeup version for Valentine's Day. And um, be sure to stay tuned for the Manny version coming up soon. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So for now, happy makeup in everyone. I'll talk to you all very soon. Mwah. Bye.